Zekor here and today I'm gonna be bringing you guys my first impressions uh, of the Taurus Judge or the, pi the pistol that I like to call the breadcrumb pistol and I'll get into why I call that I give it that name uh, later on but um, right off the bat I'm just gonna say that um, this pistol is absolute garbage and you should, and you should definitely stay away from it um, and it's pretty surprising and disappointing that I have to say that um, because actually when I saw it on the the PTS server, it looked pretty promising. Um, it looked like a pistol that you could use here and there and have a little bit of fun. But after I saw how bad it is, I'm, I'm surprised it wasn't released for April Fools instead. Um, <laughs> so uh, we're gonna get into the review real quick, but uh, just a quick note about the gameplay in the background. I have no idea why, but um, ever since the update, 70% of the time, uh, I'm a red bar peasant now. <laughs> Even when I connect to the Washington server, where I usually have a 4-bar, so uh, keep that in mind when watching this um, uh, gameplay. Uh, it, and don't be surprised if you see some like delayed kills or whatever. Um, so we're going to start as usual with the looks of the weapon. Um, it has, I'm not going to lie, it has a really nice look and feel to, to it when you use it. But um, that's not even something to praise the weapon for because... Um, at least uh, personally, that's how I feel about all revolver pistols. Um, I really like their looks and their uh, the feel of them when you use them. Um, so the fact that this gun feels good and looks nice isn't even something to uh, note really, even though I'm pointing it out. Um, the other thing is that even though it's uh, supposed to be a shotgun pistol, it doesn't even sound menacing. Like, um, I don't know if you're able to distinguish the, the sound of the pistol uh, well enough in this gameplay but you don't when you're using it you don't even sound uh, you don't even give give any like um threatening uh <laughs> you don't even it doesn't even sound threatening when you sh shoot the pistol like <laughs> there's nothing scary about this pistol at all which is pretty ironic considering it's supposed to be like it's shotgun sidearm or whatever um, but now that those are out of the way, uh, we're going to take a uh, look at the juicy bit, uh, which is the stats of the gun, obviously. Uh, I'm not going to go over all the stats because this isn't a full-on review of the weapon. Uh, but I'm just going to uh, mention a few important ones that I think you should uh, consider um, when you're going for this gun or not. Um, so first of all, the range of the pistol is 4. Um, just to give you an, uh, an idea of how absolutely shit that is. The default pistol's range is 9. <laughs> so you literally have to be giving your opponents or your enemies an affectionate hug when you're shooting them with this pistol in order to do any sort of damage to them. <laughs> which is why um, when you're, uh, which is why on top of the multipliers of the pistol, um, you're basically playing Headshot City, uh, sorry, Hit Marker City when you're using the, if you decide to go with this pistol. Um, so yeah, the, the range is absolute crap, um, and I mean, it is a, sh a shotgun um, pistol, supposedly, but I mean, full range, that's that's so that, that's less than half of what the default pistol has for range, which is absolutely freaking stupid. <laughs> um, otherwise, uh, the multipliers uh, should also be considered, so <laughs> the multiplier for the head is just two. <laughs> Um, most pistols, even vendor ones, even even the default pistol has a multi headshot multiplier of 5. So, <laughs> again, less than half of what most pistols have as the headshot multiplier. Uh, most pistols usually have a headshot multiplier of uh, 5 to 6. And this gun has 2. Um, now, it's still important to note that uh, it does have the highest uh, body multipliers, I believe at 1.65 and for other pistols it's usually 1 or uh, 0.7 or 0.8 so considering it's a, a it's supposed to be a shotgun pistol to use in in super super close range up in your enemy's face close range it does make sense that the body multipliers would at least be uh, promising um 
The other thing is that the hit hip accuracy of the pistol is absolute ass. Like, uh, you might have noticed uh, in this gameplay, but even when you're standing still with the pistol, the spread of it is super wide. Um, and if you're somebody like me who only hit fires when you use pistols, uh, that fact that fact makes it that it makes it so that this pistol is even less than ideal uh, of a choice uh, if you want to use a good uh, secondary uh, secondary weapon. So you you'll have to avoid this weapon even uh, even more uh, if the other stats other horrible stats weren't enough to make this weapon unpleasant. Uh, and the last thing to mention is that um, <laughs> the pistol only has 5 bullets uh, and since it has a decently high RPM and like I said before you're, you're in uh, hit marker city when you use it, you're basically reloading for half of the duration of the game if you decide to uh, use this pistol in any game. So <laughs> it's, it's not, it, the bullet count is also uh, not very promising to say the least. Um, so yeah, just to <laughs> sum it up, if it wasn't obvious enough uh, from what I've said so far, uh, the pistol is absolute garbage and you should avoid it until um, they decide to buff it or I don't know what they're going to do for, uh, with this weapon. Maybe, maybe they'll uh, remove it and reserve it for the next April Fool's event. <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, but you should definitely um, stay away from this pistol and do not, spend, do not try to get this permanent because... Um, I don't know if they lowered the uh, drop rate on the random boxes or if they hired it. I heard some people talk about that, but I, I didn't. Uh, I didn't look and see which if it's better or lower now. Uh, but it's you should do, at at the very at the very best you should get this weapon for like an hour and test it out in two two um, matches or something to see to regret your decision of installing Warface in the first place. Um, <laughs> I should probably not say that. Uh, but anyways, you get the point. The pistol is bad, uh, so stay away from it. Now, um, why do I call this pistol the breadcrumb pistol? Uh, some some people might think it's because um, it, it, you kind of you're shooting breadcrumbs at people. That's why it does so low damage. But when I'm actually calling it breadcrumb pistol, I'm not referring to the fact of uh, the fact about how bad the gun is, but I'm referring to the fact that. Um, it's such a bad attempt to please uh, free-to-play players. Uh, now, what I mean by that is that um, so they went to end the release this uh, the P8 revolver, and it became the new meta, and obviously it's a credit random box uh, weapon, and uh, they continuously get bla backlash, <laughs> backlash, <laughs> backlash for uh, the game being paid to win and all the new weapons being paid to win. So. I'm pretty sure that they decided to release a poor man's P8 pistol to kind of make people shut up about the and with the complaints about the game being pay to win. And uh, the thing is that the pistol fails to even compare to vendor pistols, let alone uh, the P8 revolvers. So it's it's such a bad attempt, such a miserable attempt to give the impression that they care about free to play players. That it's just so funny. Uh, I, I mean, it, obviously, it's not a, a free pistol. Isn't gonna be anywhere close, or not? No, I shouldn't say anywhere close. But obviously, it's not gonna be as good as a credit random box pistol. But at least when you market a a pistol so hard to free to play players, make it better than the default pistol for fuck's sake. Uh, I told you guys the 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 default pistol has better hip accuracy, better headshot multipliers, and better range than this pistol, which is just so uh, I know, ironically funny uh, when they market the pistol so hard like when they announced this pistol the headline was literally is it a, sh a shotgun is it a sidearm it doesn't matter it's for warface stars like that's so that makes it so obvious that they're trying to please warface uh, i mean that they're trying to please free-to-play players so at least make the gun somewhat decent like this gun is like when I'm using this gun, I'm just laughing my ass off. That's how bad this gun is. It's not even, uh, like, <laughs> a little bit worse. If it was a little bit worse, I'd be crying when I was using, when I would be using this weapon. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that's, if I didn't uh, sell this pistol to you guys yet, uh, I don't know what I can, what else I can say to uh, make you guys understand how good of a pistol this, <laughs> this pistol is.
uh, for those who don't know what sarcasm is, that's a good example of it. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this first impressions video um, of the breadcrumb pistol. Uh, if you want uh, just straight up gameplay with this weapon, um, maybe I'll torture myself and try to do decent with it in a game and try to record it for you guys. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you have any uh, suggestions, comments, feedback, whatever, leave them in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.